Check out all these Grand Rapid Griffins fans having a good time dancing in the crowd. Call me maybe cheersing their beers, enjoying the show, loving life, loving hockey, being fun, supporting their team, helping the cause. No, not what happened. Not at all what took place. For shame on these people having such a good time when their team is losing 2 nothing. Three minutes to go in the third. That's one. Okay. All right, mounting a comeback, only one more to go, 39 seconds, the shot, the pass, the goal, tied up, and they're excited as all get out. Look at this pass, and then delivers, and that's a tie game, and they're so excited that they're celebrating and cheering on their team by throwing pucks onto the ice, which, isn't that cool? And there are tons and tons and tons of pucks being thrown onto the ice by the Griffin fans here. These can't be real pucks. Must be foam pucks. Yeah, and now correctly, correctly so, I believe the Griffins are going to be assessed a delay a game penalty because their fans don't realize that you can't throw things on the ice. So they're being admonished right now, the Griffin fans, by the public address announcer. He just mentioned a delay a game penalty. I don't know if that's been assessed or if that's a warning of sorts, but I mean, look, you're hampering your own team here if you're the Griffin fans. You score to tie the game. You still have 26 seconds left. Presumably a huge burst of momentum comes from that goal, and now that is completely sapped away because these fans insist on throwing things onto the ice. We've seen it repeatedly. Repeatedly throwing things onto the ice. Now they go into overtime down a player on a kill, And, I mean, what are you doing, fans? Look at this guy. He's trying to hold his stick, takes himself out of the play. What are you doing? You know, get up. There's only three of you. No need holding his stick. And then this guy takes the shot to the leg, so he's out of the play, which leaves the back door wide open, and they score with ease. The Cleveland Barons score with ease. They win the game, and they're out of there because they don't want to get pucks thrown at them. Nuh-uh. And the fans, what are you doing? For shame. And the fans deal the Griffins a loss all on their own here in their own home building. We'll never know what could have happened because the Monsters took advantage of the delay a game penalty due to fans throwing pucks onto the ice at the end of regulation after the Griffins tied it to use that power play and win.